it's time to have a little bit of fun and play around with some geysers in Elite Dangerous. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy and to another exploration video and worth a visit. So today um, we're not really looking at a specific place compared to what I've done in previous videos where I've had uh, made specific suggestions for places you could go and visit. This is going to be more a general thing that you can look for if you're out there exploring or if you just want to want to have some fun. Um, because today we're going to talk about geysers. And uh, geysers have been uh, in the game for quite some time now. And uh, they are quite rare, but you can spot them uh, in the system map, for instance. If you uh, open up the system map and you have scanned a planet with a detailed surface scanner, you will notice here that it actually will say that the planet has active volcanism if there is active volcanoes on the planet. That both um, includes... Uh, what you would normally consider as a volcano, they would be fairly small. I don't think we've seen any real size volcanoes, but it would be fairly small. They would spew out lava and they will be hard and some people will take damage. But there are also these geysers, they come in different variants and they can be a ton of fun if you manage to find them. Because even though they are on the planet, it doesn't mean that the planet is covered in them. The, the sites can be difficult to, uh, to find. Luckily, there are plenty of tourist beacons around, and you can go look up a list of the of those, um, I guess, forums, wiki, wherever you feel like. Um, this specific one I am at here that shows you in the background um, is the system called Melina, and this is on Moon AB Five A. Um, when you go there, there is a tourist beacon. You can see you could go down to the planet. I'll put the system and moon in, uh, in the description in case you want to go to this specific place. But just know that there are plenty of these places around that you can go to. Um, I choose this one specifically because it's a nice flat plane, which made it easier for me when uh, when I had to record. Um, so yeah, again, as I said, these can be a, a lot of fun. Not only are they pretty interesting to look at because they will vary in height. So you can actually sit and look at them over time. Um, you can see I have a little bit of a time lapse running here where you can actually see where how they, they will change over time. It's, it's very fun, very interesting. But also driving your SRV into them once they are very active is hilariously fun because your SRV will be shot up into the sky at extreme velocities. I've had my SRV exceeding the 230 meters a second mark on the return to the planet. So uh, obviously if you do this and you are out exploring and you are far away from the bubble, you don't have any easy way to get a new SRV, keep in mind that you are going to be returning back to the surface of the planet depending on the gravity at very, very high velocities. So there's a very good chance you're going to lose your SRV. So again, be careful if uh, you don't have an easy way to uh, to re replenish a new SRV. Um, but yeah, it, it was it's they are a ton of fun these kinds of uh, of planets. And at the end of the video here, um, I do have a small compilation so you can see some of the more fun stuff I've uh, I've done when I was out here. Um, and as always, I'm gonna try and keep these worth a visit uh, fairly short. So I'm going to call the video here. Um, you get the the small montage coming up a bit of it, but uh, before that, remember to uh, give those videos a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you haven't already, drop by Discord and say hi. Um, or alternatively, you can uh, support the channel by becoming a, a Patreon. Everything is in the description below. So yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.